We're going to take a look at Walter from National Geographic as we take a look at frost wedging. So it's a form of mechanical weathering, also known as ice wedging. This is common where water goes above and below its freezing point. This can happen in the winter time, in the mid latitudes, or the colder climates during the summer. We're going to take a look at this game where the slider is going to move from the left to right. So as you can see here, there's a little bit of water in that crack. And as we take it to overnight, that water is going to freeze into ice and that's going to cause the water to expand, which forces the crack to open a little bit wider. With each day that passes, that water melts and refreezes. And when it freezes, it continues to expand, making the crack wider and wider and wider. Here it's going to rain to refill the crack and the process repeats itself. Freezes, the water expands, causing the crack to get wider. It melts, refreezes, the crack gets wider again, and so on and so forth over time. So we're going to take a look at it again as it rains. And again, freezing, thawing as it gets the crack gets wider and wider and wider over time. As you can imagine, eventually this crack is going to become so wide that it's actually going to break the rock into pieces. In this case, the crack will run right through the center of the rock. There you can see the crack changing. Okay. And that's how frost wedging works.